should be live. Let me just double check. It does seem so. Should be live. There we go. There's about a 10 second stream delay. Um, but I'm sacrificing stream delay for stream quality. Which is a fair sacrifice. Um, all right, what were we doing? So yesterday we spent some time doing dream veil overlook we're right here so i'm gonna go back oh wait wait i want to check this thing also can we open Red this Red piece. Red piece. huh that's a different type of gate Her coruscating majesty, Queen Batsia, has long protected the Wonderlands with the sole magic she imbues into the land itself. But such a precious role requires guarding as well, as proven by the terrible events at Dragonkeep. And so, the Queen founded a new walled city from which to oversee her realm. Brighthoof, the seat of the Adamant Throne. I think we have to go all the way around down through there. Now, I think because this has our banner, it means we control it already. This one does not have our banner. difficult to actually hit stuff with. Like, I have to lift my... It's kind of like an automatic grenade launcher. <laughs> yeah, so I looked, I looked this thing up on the wiki, and supposedly... Well, not supposedly. When you get a kill with it, it procs the effect. See there, I got a kill with it. Now it fires like rapidly. And so it's a it's a thing that that triggers on kill. And the way it works is once you get a kill, it's significantly easier to get more kills with it due to the effects due to the insane increase in fire rate and home end. Yeah, see, now that has our banner on it. So we own that now. Yeah, and that, it's a legendary called Ruby's Spite. Yeah, burgeoning burgeoning of the shrike are just uh, um those are modifiers on it but the thing itself is called ruby's spite and it's probably the highest dps thing we have right now and that's what it hints at with the red text death fulfillment but it does not say now, if I inspect it... Interesting. So these are the modifiers on it. The part attributes. Um, yeah, I can't actually find it in game still. I was wondering if I could see.
No, I don't seem to be able to see it. On the wiki, I, I had to look it up on the wiki. But yes, we, we did figure it out why this thing is so crazy. It's there because after we get a kill, it increases the fire rate and it allows it to home onto enemies. Yeah, this costs 25 souls. We already did this one. Of imagination. Why do I get the feeling the recipe there's something for disaster. extra cheesy behind this mirror? Use melee to land a cl killing blow on ten enemies in every room. I don't know if I like that. I see that watery world of imagination has caught your eye. Oh, and we can up the difficulty. Okay, so it's incremental. We did it on difficulty one snowy seas now we can do it twilight treachery so it's a like we return to it and it changes witches and brews and adventures await yeah that's like melee focus remember to keep your soul inside your body at all times that's also melee focus destroy all elemental barrels in every room Payback time. Uh, is my inventory empty? No, it's not. What are we at now? What does this do? Oh, I like that. I just, I like how you can just nail enemies with it, you know? But, oh, and it has a 100% crit chance. Yeah, the overwhelming magic barrage. This hits so hard. No, I think I think we gotta just stick with what we've got right now. Yeah, I think everything else can can go. Ooh, wait. Uh, no, this ability is this ability, which is just fire rate. Yeah, I don't know if we care. Fire rate is okay, but what's better is just using things that reload constantly. Yeah, gun reload speed is what we actually want. All right, all of this stuff can just get sold though. What Let's do this monster's one. reflection shines in that glass? Only you. Payback time. In these mirrors, I see you, me, the monsters who lie beneath the surface, the ones who lie to your face. We struggle to be our best selves so that the gaze in the glass doesn't scorch our soul. But what if we could fight fire with fire? Figuratively speaking, you could also use frost, poison, lightning, something to keep in mind. The point is, with the right tools, we can change what we see. She who controls her vision can reshape worlds. <laughs> Imagine that. I know I do. Interesting. Tell me, hero. Is there anything in this world you're afraid of? Yes. 
see that just slam. This thing slams as well. It does an insane amount of... What are these? Gold ore? Steel gold ore? This bag of ore looks a little light. But I'll let it slide. Ow? This just like melts them down. But it's like, I need to be close to them to do it. Because it's hard to hit them otherwise. Oh my god. It also consumes a ton of ammo. I die so fast. Did I hit myself or something? I think I hit myself. Bandits, skeletons, and loot galore. Wait, loot actually, mine. Damn, so we get Maybe knocked out. Overlook. I wonder. What exactly am I overlooking? Huh. Yeah, we we just got knocked out. That's pretty hardcore. Oh, always melee damage. I think we I think we use this one yeah this one is getting outclassed the recharge delay is the recharge delay is good let me quickly put this in here Yeah, I don't know why we're getting duplicates from the lost storage. Yeah, see, we just got duplicates of that. Yeah. We got, du we got two of each thing. I might look that up quickly. Because it's far from ideal if I'm getting... Uh...
no, I'm, yeah, du duplicates and lost loot. Yeah, other people have reported that bug. It's a it's a weird bug for sure. So whenever you open the lost loot, you uh you get two of each item. Tell me, hero. Which is, is not ideal, because I'd rather have the variety. I don't tell people much, dear. You have to find out like everybody else. Suddenly, I'm in the middle of an ill-advised gesture role play. I see. Well, I was afraid of being powerless. We can't all yeah, this be thing fate is makers. Kinda... Most of us lost souls just get caught in fate's waves. The thing is, getting a kill a with this is hard, control. right? And it can't just be... Mistakes in my day trying to acquire it. I was robbed. See, it can't be from the dark damage. It has to be from the damage dealt by the weapon. I hope to yeah. recoup my losses. Firstly, getting back my actual money. Yeah, I'm confused. Those that was an elemental barrel. So I don't know how to get around that. This thing actually hurts a lot. Uh that that hit him pretty hard. Yeah, look at that. What is this then? 240 damage per shot. I'm not I'm not liking that thing anymore. This thing is also still That's still pretty strong. Against flesh at least. Yeah, I don't know what Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. There's a mine cart we needed to get. Yeah, this thing actually does damage. Yeah, I was that sound that that um Fuse sound, I need to move away from. It makes a very distinct. Also, the reload on this is just insanely fast. Like, I can instantly. Yeah. It says there was something in that direction. You can kind of snipe with it, too. How do I use card to clear? What? Is there like a detonator or something? And I'm very confused. It's taking some damage. Oh, there we go. Okay. I did it my way. All right. I think I think we're clear in this area. I was I was kind of like trying to figure out what to do. Um, these are all repeatable. So, like, if we do this again, we'll know what to do. Have you ever... 
Oh, this once this procs, it does insane damage. Oh, that hurts so much. Collect to the so gold or stocks. Bean stocks specifically. They're not all magical, you know. Yeah, that look at that status effect damage. That's absurd. Um Another one for the coffers. Once it procs, it's insane. It doesn't always it doesn't always work though. Here's another lever. But luckily the raw damage is enough. Yeah, that's that's insane. Is the cart coming? Oh, there it is. Yeah. His gun chest. Nice. I'm liking this this uh, loop. The gameplay loop is very satisfying. Yeah, we just got to hit it with a ton of damage. Yeah, this thing is very good. I should have been using this before. There's something over there? Every bit counts. And I'll have to count every bit because these jerks are a bunch of swindlers. Uh, gold golem? Come on, Brock. How is it still not Brock? Are they just immune to status effects? They might be immune to status effects. Ow. Yeah, look, that proc on them like almost immediately. I think that golem is imu immune to status effects. Which is lame, because it doesn't tell us that at all. I was just like, why is this not... Why is this not triggering? Time to find a few fools to go with it. They'll be the ones waving the white flag soon. All right, we good. 
I mean, I guess it makes sense that a golem wouldn't take status effects. Maybe. Literal. So as he robbed me of my self-worth, he turned all my old standards into actual <laughs> giant flags with his face on them. And they're protected, of course, by skeletons in my closet. They like Is that to play a dice dead, roller and tower? They're always lurking in the back of my mind. Get out, you're not fooling anyone. Oh. Get rid of these skeletons and destroy those standards. I don't need them anymore. Once this thing... I mean, if you look at how much... 240 damage per second. Once it actually crossed... It starts doing insane damage. It does more damage from its proc than it does... ...than it does from its raw damage, which is exactly what I'm looking for. That's like how a build like this should work. Armor pattern, armor color. Impaling ice spike. Wait. Uh, what? This thing is insane. Yeah, but it increases fire damage. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's insane because we it's got three charges, and the spell status effect chance plus one hundred and thirty percent. That means that it will always apply a status effect. Now, we can re-enchant it later. That's fine. Yeah. I want to look at this dice roller tower. <laughs> this, this looks cool. Weird. Moves it a little bit. Huh. Why does it constantly sound like something is? Oh, it's this. It's the wind sound. Okay. It sounded like a fuse. I don't know what what we really get for destroying all the elemental barrels. <clears throat> but it kind of doesn't seem worth it. Because it didn't seem like we got much more last time. <laughs> the target dummy actually shows we got some souls for shooting all the targets I know I'm meant to go through that door oh interesting but I don't know defeat enemies and destroy their standard find red mark Uh, what? Am I missing something? It says destroy their standard, right? Is this their standard? Huh. 
Ah, okay. I'm so glad to be getting rid of these. So those giant flags we need to destroy. And I assume, why is it immune? I assume we need to be in range. Is that one? No. Yeah, I was a bit confused at first. Oh my. Oh, oh. It just fucking spawns an ice spike right under them and they freeze. Oh, I did. That is insane. Oh, oh, oh. I love that. Fuck. Oh my. That may very well be my favorite spell thus far. Um. Summons an ice spike from the ground. So when I snap, it just freezes them and they immediately turn into ice and get launched into the air. This leaves an elemental splat on the ground. Now, my question is, okay, it doesn't hurt us, but that's kind of like an AOE... I don't know if I like that so much. Yeah, I don't know if I like that so much. I think I really ultimately like this thing. This dark damage just... It slams so hard. I won't miss that one. Okay, there's the other banner. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I saw it spawn and then I lost sight of it. I think it was over here. Oh, there it is. Good riddance to that. Defeat enemies and destroy their standards. It would be nice if it showed us where. <sighs> oh my. It is very like single targeted. Like I have my multi target and then my single ice spike target. Might be my favorite spell. Don't judge me by my old standards. I've changed, I promise. Uh, it's over there. Yeah, you need to be close to it. Or no, you need to kill all the skeletons. Oh 
my. <laughs> Beautiful. The fact that that has now three that charges is just bones, beautiful. I feel a song in my heart. It's in the next realm. Ha ha ha. This world is a mix of memory and imagination. Like a song where oh, you sick. only remember every other rhyme. So you half sing and half mumble. <laughs> the rule of oh, I guess slime and is not great. Lurking in the shadows of every gaslight. I don't know if I... My heart and hid it there too. I'm gonna have to try. And, back. and for that, you must find my loot. What is that noise? What is this? There are instruments in the eggs. How? I mean, wow, that's wow. Oh, it's the scuttles. All right, that burning clomp had a ton of health. I think this hurts us. Yeah, it does. That cloud hurts us. Okay, the ice spike, if I land it on them, spawns inside of the flying enemy. Yeah. They don't need to be on the ground. That thing needs to die. Yeah, the frigid, frigid enemy. Oh, those clouds hurt, yeah. I really want an omelet now. <laughs> oh, my head. Yeah, these clumps are very dangerous. The scuttles aren't so bad. The clomps are bad. That's the damage. That's why we don't get rid of that spell. Oh, it's gonna resist the... Yeah, because they're elemental. That's so annoying. They drop a cloud when they die, so I can't pick up the... the loot. Oh, no way. Is this, this is basically just an upgraded version of what we had before. Ha <laughs> ha! It's, yeah, it's the same gun type, the blast off, the Ludite of blast off. Um. Except it just does more damage. Yeah, I, I like this when it, if I can get a kill with the Ruby Spite, it's probably the highest DPS thing I have. But if I can't get a kill with it, 
Oh, new new emo. Nice. Um, if I can't get a kill with it, then it's not as good. Yeah, this is our fire damage source. I think ultimately we're going to end up using this thing. Because again, this weapon is basically perfect for our build. Uh, its reload is very fast. It does an insane amount of damage per shot. So we don't use a lot of ammo. And it's gonna proc every time, pretty much. Oh, we just passed 1 million gold in Gan. Uh, we need to find crack eggs to find Vesper's loot. Oh, there's one. Okay, okay. These are all bad eggs. Don't feel bad about breaking them. Oh, there's a loot. Seriously, though. How did they get the instrument in the egg? Sweet. This loot holds so many memories for me. Literally. I've got a much clearer picture now of where we go from here. Yeah, destroying all the elemental barrels, like, we're we're not gonna do that. I think that's just an extra back of my hand once. They scattered my memories to make sure I'd stay lost. But the further you go, the clearer my mind gets. Damn, this area is crazy. Which is why I can point you to a treasury known only to the ruler's most powerful allies. That doesn't mean I was one of them. I, I just know things. <clears throat> Anyway, okay. only the most badass fighters will hold the levers you need to access the treasury. Yeah, this this thing is is it again. It's hard to actually hit it sometimes. Ice and lightning damage is just so good. Vault lever. We're making excellent progress. Don't accidentally break it. You're so strong. It okay, is so there are three, three vault levers. Um, we need three of them. So we just have to wait for the weird. That just like didn't hit him. Huh? Yeah, the ice spike is like a very. Oh no. Yeah, that's the downside to using this. The, down, the biggest downside to using this is you can blow yourself up with it. Which isn't a downside if you're good. Oh, 
weird. The ice spike just like didn't spawn. Um. Also, like range is the downside. Oh my god, it's getting crazy now. I don't know. I mean, picking up loot is good. I was thinking I probably shouldn't worry about... Wait, what is that? This, this thing? Oh, cooldown rate. That gives us even more cooldown rate. This 7% all damage dealt is just so good. The cooldown rate is very good, though. What does that give us the, uh, this then? Reload speed. No, I I still think this is topped. This is this is still the best because it gives us the three extra. It's giving us three more spell weaving stacks, which synergizes with multiple different things. Yeah, it it's still better. Uh, I will be right back. One sec.
All right, I'm back. Elegantly done. Yeah, I'm thinking these two are the best. I don't know why I'm only using pistols. I just haven't found any good assault rifles. Fighting, walking around, placing levers. What can't you do? <laughs> the skeleton voice lines are still like it's so hilarious. That multi target ability is just so so strong. I'm a talking skeleton! Yeah, there's something um rocking with this that's making it so I like just don't need to reload it sometimes, even though the reload is like really fast. Damn, why is that not hitting? Dude, I should have just used my eye spike on them. Yeah. The only downside to this is it's not rocking all the time. Oh my ass. I love how that just spreads damage among like everyone. Yeah, that spell is not gonna go away for a long time. The only problem is once we start casting it, we can't stop casting it. You've got a lever. Excellent. I can't imagine anyone placing those levers better than you did. Mostly because that would be so boring. that treasury I remembered something else they stole from me the light of my life I'd like it back now Apologies, I went AFK for a second and I forgot to put the BRB up.
banner color? Hair color. Yeah, so this quest is definitely feeling like very sta stagey. It's like, find the three levers, and every lever is going to have a wave of enemies. Find five yes. gold ore. This whole place is burning. We must be close. <sighs> if I seem cold, it's because these monsters stole my soul fire. They all need a light in our lives, and mine was ripped from my heart. I have looks of it, I'm keeping it here. Yeah, those things are difficult to deal with. Oh, come on, man. No proc. The flying wyverns are very difficult to hit. There's a proc. Yeah, this thing does more damage. Uh, more damage per second based on its proc than its raw damage. So if it doesn't proc, it doesn't do nearly as much damage. But that's my build. That's like what I'm going... Raging Wyborg? Uh, farmer's Market? Why is there just a boss health bar at the top of my screen? Uh, they put my soul fire into a wyvern head? Destroy that abomination. Oh shit. We're gonna have to kill the ads, aren't we? And this rotate. Thankfully, it's all armor, so we're doing the direct, uh, the correct damage type. I just need to make sure I proc my. Try to use this thing? This thing seems to proc like every time. This is just mad. So is it dead now? Nope. Nope, it's not dead. It's got another stage. Okay, there is no... That does not have a range limit. Alright, I can do it. Yeah, we're regenerating health from that. Oh my. I just spawned right in front of me. Level up.
I don't know, are we, are we meant to do anything here? It goes down. Oh, they hit that. Wait, is it being used? In the fire. Yeah, there's like nowhere to stand. Just do be one of those again. It do be one of those again. That's pretty crazy. I think I had to put that ball on its head in order for it to go into the final stage. I'm not sure, but we killed it four times, four times. My one piece of advice for the monster you're about to face Show no fear. Cast doubt from your mind. They are the living embodiment of every... Alright, I need to use my points. I was thinking this was good. But now I'm thinking we don't really care about it. But I still think it's going to be the best because... We need to get ward restore and move speed. I don't know if I care about that. Water Nova. Dealing non-status effect poison damage has a chance to create a water nova, soaking all nearby enemies. The one I'm interested in is this. Worse curse. Whenever we apply dark magic status effect, our spell damage and ability damage are increased, which is massive. Oh, interesting. The Fate Maker's dark magic damage now restores, restores ward instead of health. Interesting. Yeah, what we want is worse curse. So in order to get that, we're going to need to put more points into one of these. And this requires us to swap our current gun, which I don't like. This is only poison damage. And this increases our damage dealt based on how full our ward is, which is good. Um... This and then Restore the Veil are a great combo. 
Yeah, I don't care about fire rate at all. Yeah, we're good. But that's making me wonder. Do we want to go for constitution? Yeah, but that this increases max HP and war. Max HP slash war. See, I don't understand the difference between skill cooldown and spell cooldown if we're using ambihextrous. Does spell become our skill? I don't think so. I think it's different. I don't think we need to worry about skill cooldown at all. Yeah, I'm just going to go Constitution. You can't go wrong with just max HP and shield. Deliver it instead. Oh my. That is a giant dragon. Oh my. Keep the status effects going. Shoot at Dude, what I need is this thing. Right? That's what I fucking need. Um I yeah, I couldn't move. Oh my god, I did that so quickly, I had no time to react. I just like jumped up and did it. Is it dead? Did we do it? Incredible. We did it. You defeated fear itself. How does it feel? Did Feels all like of my its first should be a little heavier, if you catch my drift. Did all of its stuff drop on top of that thing? Did it drop on top of the tower? Weird. There's like a secret dungeon down here. What? Interesting. Yeah, I don't I think all of its stuff just spawned on me because it was at the oh there's a there's a turret here as well. Yeah, that doesn't do nearly as much damage as we were putting out. This this thing that we're holding is the best weapon that we found in the game. Just wanna check one more thing. Once it gets the kill trigger and we start getting it rolling. Yeah, it didn't drop any loot up there. We're good. This thing does absurd amounts of damage. The success in that world is to try, try, try. Nice. So those monsters we faced have been added to the chaos chamber. Sick. Yeah, that was cool. It was pretty straightforward, but it was it was good.
spell shot berserker that sounds like a very interesting combination Yeah, I keep seeing spell damage and then melee crit chance. Like, who cares? Shield pointed. Shield pointed ban. I like the look of our banner. I don't, I don't think I'm going to change it anytime soon. Uh, all of this other stuff, I'm not going to use. This is, uh, this is seemingly on the surface good, but actually hitting enemies with it is not, not easy. Oh, that's a huge amount of dark damage. Wait, how does this... What does this do? Okay, it's a... What? Oh, sick. Yeah, it does an auto-fire. It just bounces around until it hits an enemy or something. Um, given the fact that it's going to be very difficult to hit stuff with it, I still don't think it says... I still don't think it's as good. Unfortunately. Oh, 473 damage. This would be good for a raw crit damage build, but that's not what we're going for. Unfortunately, we haven't found any black powder items that have a status effect. I don't know if that's like a thing But it seems like every single black powder weapon we find just doesn't have a status effect that's tied to it. Aren't I supposed to see terror in this mirror? I only see me. Though I am terrifying and brilliant. <laughs> Check the cosmetics we got. Oh, kind of sick. Oh, kind of sick. Wait, what happens if we have like this? Pale gold. Huh. I think I like the opal. Yeah, what happens if I have this and then also have this? Nothing. It, it overrides it. Yeah, it overrides it. Should we go with the cat, the cat ears? <laughs> We've had this spiky hair this entire time. It's just the best hair, I think. We could go bald. Dude, bald actually looks crazy. Nah, nah, I like the spiky hair. We don't... 
have these are all different tattoo colors we don't have tattoos so. Oh, there's so many cosmetics. It's crazy. This is the eyeshadow color. Let's make our eyes look ridiculous. We can't even see blush color. I, I don't actually want this uh, Assassin's Mask. I just wanted to see what would happen if we... Uh, tried to combo it with the helmet. It just overrides it. I was wondering if it would start clipping and stuff. We got pass without taste. Interesting. Orange, orange metal. I still think Royal Oil Crumb is my favorite. That actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, our armor changed at some point, and I don't know when, but our armor looks different, and we have a backpack. Like, our character has a backpack on their back. And I, I don't know when we got that. Huh, what is... Why is there this, like, tail on our character? Is it bugged out because of the sword or something? So weird. All right, we have a ton of souls we can use. I wonder if I can just like keep, just keep rolling it over and over again. Can I roll it like twice in a row? Ooh, so well with your I could put we got rings twice. Keep it away from me then. I need my vision cleared, thank you. I don't know if there's anything else we can do with our souls. I know the gems we can use to on the rabbits or whatever. Uh, but we also use the gems to get buffs into chaos. Two legendaries? Okay. Two legendary spells? What's our inventory space looking like? Almost. Yeah, the orbs, the moon orbs. The more you uh, re-roll enchantments, the more it costs. So like the first re-roll is very cheap. And then like the 10th is very expensive. Oh, here's a toxic assault rifle. But it doesn't, it doesn't reload. 
it also gets increasingly more inaccurate the more you fire it. It's not that great. What about this thing? What? That's sick. Rains down mortar shells. Now, I don't think you can do it. Oh, you can just keep it in mortar mode. But yeah, the, the biggest problem with that is it runs out of ammo almost immediately. Here's a fire sniper. Oh, I kind of like that. We rarely use snipers. Yeah, that doesn't seem... The reload time isn't that bad. The thing is, our spell damage, because of this... Casting a spell or reloading grants a stack of spell weaving. Which is primarily the reason why I use pistols, because... The magazine size is very limited, so we just have to constantly be reloading. And the reload time is like one second on these things. Parable. This fires two. This does an insane amount of damage. Still not as much as this thing, though. What I want is something like this. Oh, sick. It creates a freaking blade tornado. What I want is something like this with half the magazine size. Ferry or shotgun? Oh, sick! It turns into a shrike? There's gotta be some build for summons. Thrown weapon becomes a gun with wings and shoots enemies before homing in and exploding. Interesting. Interesting how the shotgun sounds a lot louder when you're zoomed in. Yeah, the Stoker also doesn't seem to ever have a status effect tied to it. Clawbringer. Periodically teleports far away Hydra companions next to the Fate Maker. Okay. So this is like, if you're trying to do a Hydra focused build, this would be good. Yeah. I still think what we're currently using is going to be very difficult to top. Eruption? Huh. It 
It just creates a, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't hate that, but I think this thing is going to do... The magic barrage just does so much damage. And it's guaranteed to gain us HP. Yeah, the impaling ice spike. Oh, I just... It's so strong. Obviously, the only thing it doesn't work against are frost immune enemies so ooh wait this is actually good hold on on ward break gain 140% spell crit chance so guaranteed spell crit chance and returns lightning damage if dealt melee Yeah, I think this is actually decent. Oh, what? 1500 times two? What is this? I don't think it homes onto enemies though, right? Fire and forget. No, it says ricochets to two nearby enemies. If there are no enemies nearby, it spawns a poison puddle at the target's feet. That's insane. This may actually be really good. Rain bolt. Death by a thousand colors? What? <laughs> yeah, that's... I have a feeling that's going to be massive. Yeah, I don't know. Does this home? On hit, applies a random status effect to target. Uh, that's insane. Twenty two percent gun damage. That's a, that's massive. Shark spin. Yeah, we're finding, like, hardcore, legendary, unique items now. Yeah, I assume... So the Clawbringer, I think, has a companion. And that's what all of, like, the companion buffs are for. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. These two still do an insane amount of damage, so I'm going to hold on to them. Spawns Hydron Impact. See, I really like that spell. This type of spell, I, I really like. 
the Arkin the Arkin spells are probably my favorite types. Wait, is this actually good? I really like regenerate 5% of your maximum health per second while word is full. But I also really like 10, plus 10% 10 maximum health. Yeah, I think we keep the one we have. That's a tough one. Yeah, I don't think we need to hold on to this one anymore. Pistol critical hit damage. I think we take this one over this one. Yeah. Because we primarily use pistols, so... Yeah, all right, let's sell everything that's not starred in our inventory now. It's getting it's getting tough. Like we're finding a whole bunch of stuff that is not bad. But it's like almost becoming like preference. But that's kind of how those quests seem to go. We did this one. Why couldn't it be a, a money burn or a free massage burn? Yeah, avenging. So we can do a higher difficulty now. I prefer worlds that are less uh, damn. Uh, so these, the way these work is we do these, we defeat the, the boss, we get a ton of souls, and then we roll that thing a bunch of times and get a couple legendaries. Uh, I do want to try every single one of these, Feeling though. demonic. I know how that goes. Let's try this one. I hope you got a strong stomach. We're not going to get the language. melee kills, but we didn't get the barrels, the elemental barrels in the last one. It's just an extra it takes thing. a strong stomach to face the monster in the mirror. Imelda, witch of the sand, had a stomach of steel. An appetite for everything. Love, life, linguini. And though her hunger grew, the space she had to store it shrank. So she cooked up a recipe for an ability she'd always admired. A troll's capacity to eat everything. And it worked. Her potion was a hit. Its transformative side effects, a cherry on top. As her capacity for pleasure and pasta grew, so too did her love of power. Interesting. Countless threads of fate. Yeah, weird how it doesn't like reload here. my gun while I'm All out. around that <clears throat> castle in the forest. I see only vague shapes. A mushroom, a crab, a... Ginger bee, dead. Uh, very that's a new, that's a and new enemy type. These are, no doubt, ingredients. <laughs> oh, they're like gingerbread skeletons. Brewing in these woods. 
Oh man, this thing is insane. Yeah, it applied... It applied a random status effect to that enemy. Can I get up that way? Wait, what? Yeah, it applied electrical and fire. That's beautiful. Oh my, this is this is devastating. That that is devastating. Alright, how do we get up there? I think we just have to go all the way around. Yeah, so Yeah. <laughs> oh it's sick. I don't know if I really like it. It's it's kind of cool. Now, there's something that that procs. There's something that combos. I can't remember what it is. See, applying a status effect increases elemental damage for a duration. So, if this applies a random status effect, every shot and there are three bolts that we fire then that means that this gets activated three times right which is pretty powerful Well, I should have dropped these off before I started this. I I think I'm gonna keep the the rain bolt, just for the sake of applying as many status effects as possible. I see new individuals wandering nearby who may have a clearer vision of this situation than I do. Use your <clears throat> expertise to find out the secrets they're holding. Yeah, see that applied three different status effects to that one person. Oh, it homes onto enemies. I didn't realize that. Let's switch to using this thing. Damn, that didn't proc at all. This pretty much procs like every time. Yeah, look at oh my! Did you see how many status effects there were on that guy? Pesto changer. Shopping list. Goblin beans, hot or cold, pirate crabs, any kind will do. What monster any kind will do? List like this? It's unfathomable. I must see the mind that cooked up this mess. Only a wild imagination could concoct such twisted things. <clears throat> Go and find it. Huh. The portal just like spawns some janky loot. <laughs> you made it through again. I see reward and 10 to 20 minutes of similar acts in your future. Yeah, the, the, uh, the amount of status effects that this rain... Uh, see, on the surface, it looks... You know, you're like, oh, low damage, zero crit chance, low proc chance, uh, spell cooldown. But then you go all the way to the bottom and you read, on hit applies a random status effect to target. And it just clicks as to why that's legendary. Like, look at that. That's absurd. When I hit with that, it just does an insane amount of damage. 
That's just beautiful. I, I love that. Status effect build is working out exactly the way I hoped it would. Oh, that slam. Oh, get away from me, get away from me. Get away from me, get away from me. Look at that. It's just like a blob of numbers above it. That's insane. <laughs> what am I meant to do? Enchanted shroom. Collect enchanted shroom. That's what I meant to do. Oh no, oh, it bounced me back into the enemy. That, that spell is insane. I love that. I don't think it's gonna get popped for a long time. I really don't see that getting popped for a long time. As my friend Gus, the court jester, used to say, there's no fun without fun Gus. Ah, he was annoying. May he rest in peace. Ah, oh, I missed. Does that hurt me? No, it doesn't, thankfully. Yeah, I was wondering if, if these would do damage to me, but they don't. If they did, I would die instantly. <laughs> so luckily they, uh, luckily they don't. This thing does do self damage though, and we've experienced that several times. Goblins that dwell here value three <laughs> things in life. Coin, preserving ancient architecture, and their beans. You'll need to draw the alpha <laughs> goblins out of hiding to get the ripest beans. Picking off a few of their less bean-endowed friends should do the trick. Bean-endowed. Hey, hey. Are you being endowed, Goblin? Oh shit. There's one of those big bean boys. Is that the bean boy? Oh no, that's the bean boy. Come here, bean boy. Why is he running away from me? Oh shit. It like, they got knocked down and then all of my status effects disappeared. That was weird. Cool, Tink Tinker's Bomb? I see excessively large beans in your future. Um, what? Let's 
Sometimes the rain, uh... That thing has a lot of problems. Yeah, sometimes this... The rain bolt. Just like, even though it's homing, it like doesn't proc. See, it didn't actually, like, hit them. Weird. Those goblins are has-beens now. Or are they hasn't-beens? <laughs> eh, whatever, moving on. I think the game is attempting to like cut off my status effects because they're just too they're too OP. I can't wait to use the this on the bot. The pirates of this idyllic cove may not have much in the way of creature comforts, mm. but they do have crabs, lots of crabs. The second I, I see my status effect proc, crabs. I just shouldn't hit them they're anymore. There's like no day, reason. I God, the way these guys die about it away like that, it's the reason why it's important to have plenty of ammo. Sing me a shanty. Would you? Sing me. Sing me a shanty, would you? Oh. It was like fire and lightning and ice at the same time beautiful <laughs> yeah rain bolt is insane <laughs> Oh, that's an evil eye crab. That went underneath my fucking... Fuck off. There you go. There you go. Those things are really annoying to deal with, with this current build. Is this better? Spell critical hit chance is good. No, pistol critical hit chance we want more. Uh, we'll use it anyway. Another day, another crab. Another day, another crab? there's an enemy right in front of me huh. on the map all right so we're stealing crab catches from pirates damn how did that do electric damage though Yeah, this is the other thing we have. I still think this is the best. Like these two, this is also very good. This is still very, very good.
They seem to do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, oh, and they apply uh, fire status effects. I think they also take enemy aggro. Oh, what the fuck? The Did you crab flying in the air. Catching crabs from pirates today? Tell the truth. I can't get to that down there. Oh, so good. It's still so good. Because it only has 12 rounds, it fires six shots and then reloads. And because we have spell weaving, it just keeps our spell weaving stacks maxed out on top of that. And then it also, as an added bonus, spawns freaking wyverns. Yeah, but when it doesn't proc, it doesn't. It, again, similar to this one, it derives most of its DPS from... Uh, the status effect. That's just beautiful. I, I like that a lot. I'm glad we read the full text. On that. Oh, I can't use this. Yeah, that's our... That enemy just, uh... That enemy just took, uh, electric damage. Because of this thing. Returns 408 lightning damage if dealt melee damage while warded. Which is fantastic because it actually staggered them. Like you've had enough of this oh deleted it just deleted them the recipe says now that you've caught crabs with bone <laughs> oh, the monstrous mind that wrote this recipe must be now that you've stopped. caught crabs it's bone time <laughs> Carefully, the trolls here pride themselves on the size of their bone pile. But as my cellmate Hagatha Swamp it died. always said, you can't make bone meal by cracking a few bones. The trolls' bones, ideally, not yours. Give those bone piles a shake. Oh, that just did an insane amount of damage. So. Have this it just deletes them. They just get fucking body. deleted. Oh my god, that just like deleted their armor. 
Oh, it's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, this thing just deletes enemies. This just deletes enemies. <laughs> like, it actually just makes them disappear. Uh, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, the rate at which we're gaining gold now is just absurd. I don't need to open gold chests anymore at all. level 35 and this stuff we're currently fighting is 36 so i feel like that's an indication that we are Is that good? Hold on. No. 
And no. What about this sniper rifle? Fires three shots. Uh, not bad. Yeah, again, ammo, <laughs> ammo conservation though. just one shot stuff but i'm out of ammo <laughs> so it turns ammo into extreme amounts of damage but it also requires us to pick up all the ammo Reload time actually isn't that bad. What does it have as a secondary? RPG? All right, we'll try it. And RPG is okay. It basically crocs every time. Oh, that time it didn't. Almost every time. Oh, that's insane! One more in the bag. Can you fuck off, please? There you go. Reload time is getting a little bit. Oh, we're outside ammo for it. Whatever. It's it's good. It it's good. Uh, but it runs out of ammo pretty much immediately. And even though I'm like opening chests and running over ammo and stuff, like I'm still not actually finding that much ammo. Like, 12 ammo? Nice. I do like the feeling of needing to find ammo, though. We're level 36 now. What were we getting with this? Reload chance? See... Well, instant reload isn't bad. I'm probably going to respec this out, though. I really, really want this right whenever we apply apply dark magic yeah but then it then it forces us to use dark magic though i just like i just like damage regardless of the damage type or, or the, the of elemental type. It's time to see the mind behind all this. I want every elemental type of damage. <laughs> uh, 
Out of all that ammo it dropped on the ground, none of it was sniper ammo. Or are we already full on ammo? I think we're full on ammo. 44 is the most this can hold. I believe. Ooh, spooky. Nope, I was incorrect. Just none of that ammo that dropped was sniper ammo. Alright, I think this is actually full now. Yeah. Complete ingredients list. Interesting. Cool area. No witch compares to me. Imelda Not the Sandwich. No I see an invitation <laughs> to dinner. Uh, are we fighting now? Your food is cooked. You whine and you trifle. Your We're fighting now? Run out. That bone meal was your last. All right, well, I can't hit you from here, so that's a problem. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got the... Dude, why, why are they just so annoyingly high up there? Dude, getting a sniper rifle is the right move. Oh my god. Dude, I I'm trying to get shots off. Okay, that that hit. just like hard to they, they're weak but it's just like hard to get shots off on them They're back up to, oh my, they're a giant, they're a giant abomination now. me around oh my that is an absurd amount of damage right at the end wasn't she terrifying please no more buns wait oh no um yeah, this boss fight was okay. Except it felt like I was constantly like on the ground, like below where I was meant to be. And I just felt like I was constantly trying to get up and I just couldn't. Right? Like here may have been a good spot. But like I can't jump on that. Like they're like on this like... It was okay. It was okay. 
just like a little bit of a weird design to be like, oh, we enter into the room and they're all the way up there behind the barrel on that balcony. And it's like, uh, where do I, where do I stand? Like, where do I go? It's okay. We, we did it. An unsavory mind dreamt up that place. Does that just give maximum ward? Wait. Ah, oh, never mind. Ooh, this actually is not bad. Pistol, mag size, and dark magic efficiency. I'd rather have the spell damage than the gun damage. It doesn't really matter though. No, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. I don't think we need to hold on to this. This is still good. This sniper rifle runs out of ammo way too fast to actually be usable. It's just barely usable. If the reload time were faster and the mag size were slower, then I would use it. But because we rely on reloading to keep our spell weaving maxed out, it doesn't really fit that utility. And I don't think we need this anymore. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. All right. I'm going to sell everything other than the star and stuff. Yeah, there we go. I kind of like that they show the... Gear score, item score, when you hover over. We didn't get as many souls that that time around. Last last time we got uh, like two hundred. Deals both. Cryo and fire damage. Oh, that roll cost 50. Wait, what? Is it costing more to roll now? Garlic bread. Dude, should I? I'm just gonna pick up the purples at this point. I, I just can't take the time to like look through everything other yeah i just can't there's too there's too much loot yeah this is this is like the opposite of what we're looking for Wait, what? Um, never mind. Why are they all going in that direction? Hold on. Hold on. Because this breaks so fast... Whenever we repair it, it gives us a stack of spell weaving. Uh, that's kind of insane. It's creating three 
wyverns every time we break it. That's insane. That that we're gonna star. <laughs> I love how immediately I was like, uh, never mind. Like this is the opposite of what we're looking for. Uh, no. It's exactly what we're looking for. We just need to keep breaking it. Now, I don't know why it's going into the ground over there. I'm going to move over here and see. Yeah, there must be like an enemy under the ground or something. I, I'm pretty sure those are homing towards an enemy. Surging Twister deals both cryo and fire damage. Basically guaranteed crit. 15 projectiles per cast. That's pretty cool. Except, like, if we fire that at an enemy, are all of those even going to hit? I'm going to star it just to hold on to it, but it doesn't seem like it's very practical. Summons a pulsating Nova around itself. On a crit, knocks down enemies. Well, we're almost guaranteed to crit, so... Uh... Sick? Okay, we can't double cast it. It's just like a... Once I cast it, it, it runs for a certain amount of time. But that's an awesome AoE spell to keep melee enemies away from us. Yeah, that we're going to star. Yeah, here's another earthquake. Oh, sick. Now, I don't know how that's going to work against flying enemies. Yeah, we've used this thing before. That's just the that's just the zap. Huge, huge zap value. Oh my. I'm definitely keeping this thing. Wicked Gossip. This thing is just absurd. It just actually, when I hit enemies with it, it actually just deletes them. The G Wizard. Yeah, it's a Torg shotgun. I, I don't really like these that much. Wait, impact? Sticky? Wait, what? Um... Weird. Yeah, this th th these two are insane. <laughs> yeah, I, I the surging twister is cool, but 
it doesn't seem like practical. Like, I don't think we're going to get a lot of actual hits off with that. And the garlic, the garlic breath is insane. This is what we were using before. Yeah. Spectral Wyvern releases smaller damaging wyverns along its path. Interesting. Yeah, this one is actually kind of crazy, and I think... That could do a lot of damage. But no, the, again, the rain bolts, I just can't get rid of. The fact that it guarantees if I hit with it, three random status effects. Just like, how do you beat that? And it has two spell charges. I actually like this a lot. Yeah, as far as item score goes, I don't think I really care about item score so much. I don't know why I'm sorting by score. I should just sort by rarity at this point. Yeah, but see, this is misleading, right? Because it says this does 256. But you do it four times. And also the status effect damage is... See, there's no comparison made between the status effect damage. All you see is the green damage. But the status effect damage from Eruption of Scolding is... What? four times higher roughly and that's where we derive most of our damage from so i suspect this thing is actually going to be really good also because i can cast it just about anywhere i want instantaneously that's massive value yeah this one is still crazy the triple ice spike is still crazy but I think, okay, I think everything else we're going to get rid of. This thing I'm still holding on to. Yeah. I really think that this is losing its efficacy. Especially the biggest downside being like, I've killed myself with this this thing like three times, four times by firing at a melee enemy that was, like, right in front of us. Oh, do we care to look through all these? I'll pick them up, but... Some of these could be actually good. That's the problem. Familiar. Interesting. This is like one of the first stoker weapons that I found that has a status effect. Yeah, that's also insane. So 
So we have we have this. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Unfortunately, their cooldowns are not the same, so they would be out of like out of sync. Um Yeah, I don't think I care too much about that. What about this one? Oh, this actually creates like a AoE eruption around us. That's sick. But again, the amount of value you get i think we're just going back to using no 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 we can't get rid of wicked gossip we just can't yeah i think uh, everything else we're just gonna get rid of this thing isn't bad. But it's very inaccurate. It also consumes an insane amount of pistol ammo. So, yeah, we're not going to take it. All right, let's sell all this other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we look through everything. If it's not starred, just sell it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we can't sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're good. All right. Let me put... We're getting, I think, in in game right now, we're getting to the point where... Everyone else's fears, too. Items are getting to max... max like item score right like everything is just pushing it we're, we're like barely getting to 400 i think everything's gonna get stuck at 400 are these all duplicates yeah i don't i don't care to even look at these so i'm just gonna sell them uh and then we'll do this one Uh, we did There's this one, to fear this there, one, fear itself. this one, Literally. and let's try this one. More lost souls, eh? Maybe what they really need is a map. We all want to protect those we love. Keep them close, safe. It's when you only want to keep them that's trouble. We are meant to build bridges to one another. Instead, Theodore builds defense mechanisms. Many, many defense mechanisms, imprisoning himself and everything he loves with him. He would do anything to protect his possessions from outsiders, forgetting that it's what's inside that counts. Interesting. Yeah, the last the last boss fight was okay. Like the witch, you know, it felt okay, but it, it felt a little bit Beyond awkward as far as boss order. fights go. Emphasis on the odor. He's the soul warden of this prison because he was the sole person to want the job. <laughs> I was also the best candidate. I mean, look at my face. It takes multiple cannon shots to destroy those. So, he's definitely the type to leave chain-destroying cannons lying around. Interesting. Wait, did we get rid of... We got rid of the rain bolt for this thing. And I'm starting to think that was a mistake. And be careful. He plays the we food, made sure to star the rainbow. To we put it in no our store. Has ever gotten out. Yeah. This is not bad though. It just it just doesn't hit the same way, you know. 
destroy Soul Warden's hooks. Looks like Theodore's paid some poor souls to be his friends. Why we keep that? Um, I think I just got hit by my own. Yeah, you know what? Uh, can we like restart? I should not have gotten rid of the rainbow. That was a mistake. It would seem you're not done here. Delightful. Aren't I supposed to see terror in this mirror? I only see me. Though I am terrifyingly brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a mistake. Let's uh let's not use this thing. Yeah, this soaked tidebreaker is very interesting. I feel like there's something you can do with that for sure. Yeah, see, this is inscribed. This is why I kept this then. Yeah, don't, I, I'm not gonna take anything else out. I, I just like, I don't wanna look through gear anymore. And, uh. What? Yeah, this thing actually isn't that great. Again, I wish there was an easy way to like. Never understood why people face their fears. It's much easier to just stab them in the back. I wish there was a way to test out we spells. We all want to protect before using them because that one definitely seemed Beyond like it was going to slam Fiora. but it just didn't emphasis on the odor he's the soul warden of this prison <laughs> again you just can't go off of your <laughs> i was also the best candidate i mean look at my game today it takes multiple cannon shots to destroy those so he's definitely the type to lead chain destroying cannons line round with ammo correct and be careful. He plays the fool, but he wants you to come in because no soul has ever gotten out. <laughs> Those henchmen put you off the cannons. Where's the other chain? There's a chain here. You found your way there we in. Go. Okay. But I'll warn yeah, it's true. We were doing that lost soul has two. You broke my chain? Get in here and pay for it! Ow.
why, but it hurt a lot. I think those, um... The wyverns, I think they can actually hit us. Pretty sure they can actually hit us. Another lost soul has come to be punished. Get in then. Theodore binds everything he loves in chains, including the door to his lair. He's hidden the hooks that hold up his gate all around this prison. We'll need to break each one to reveal his door. If you're wondering how he ever gets out of this place, I'll tell you. Oh, she didn't try that. I go out all the time! To cooler places than you've ever been! He's a prisoner too. He just can't see it from under his giant helmet. Wait, it says... Destroy this... Oh, we have to de destroy all of these, or what? Uh... Those things don't seem to be able to die. Destroy Soul Warden's hooks. Enter Misery Mine. Enter Chris... Why can't I... There's nothing here. Is there something else I need to do? That can take it. Ah, there we go. We got it. Theodore sunk one of his hooks into this world. This place is buzzing with lost souls. He's placed oh, crystals Rad, thanks for all around by. to absorb their powers. If you destroy those crystals, the lost souls' energy will be released. And with their powers Yeah, free, my chat wasn't actually show showing up. exactly what they think of him. Let me see if this works. Yeah, it does. Yeah, there's a there's a pretty big stream delay as well. I think it's like 10 seconds. It's uh it's it's Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Okay, I got it to work in OBS. Yeah, it's not like super indicative as to what we actually need to shoot at. Oh, that that's just insane. That damage over time is just insane. This is what we need to do, guys. Now, feed our set reinforcements. That's it. I'm feeding you the second I see. Oh, delete it. Their body actually despawns. Like, we melt them so hard and so fast that their body despawns. Poison damage seems to work pretty decently on skeletons. Oh. Alright, we need there are two more over here. This is kind of a cool area, I like it. Like you gotta run around breaking the crystals. Yeah, 
vision easily in my top This thing is just insane. Wicked gossip it is just insane. Look at look at the damage numbers. Like what? The the biggest downside is that it's hard to hit. All right. I assume is there one more crystal on this? Destroy quartz crystals. Here. That bee is almost as brilliant as you are. I made a return portal for you. It's the least I can do, especially as I'm getting stronger. A portal? All that means for getting stronger. Why are you helping her? Can't you see what she is? Cool. So are we enter the crystal chasm. What are you, a bard? There is like a multi-stage thing. So we did crystal chasm. How? The freaking minecart just came flying out when we opened it. Ah, the old mine. It takes a lot of resources <laughs> to imprison lost souls. It's real money pit, honestly. Not a great long-term investment for the wallets or the lobbies. One of the chains holding Theodore's gates closed is hooked here. It'll take more than firepower to destroy it. Oh, that, Theodore's so mind card is heavy. Maybe you could use that to your advantage. I need to use that more often, honestly. I always told Theodore he shouldn't have such a homes on to enemies after <laughs> I got hit by that. to the other side of the fucking map.
Yeah, that flying thing, every time I kill it, another one just immediately respawns. There, there's another one now. getting swamped with enemies before. Gonna work a little bit better. The fire damage. <laughs> Except against the fire type enemy, of course. Which is just started spawning. One step closer to the all those small enemies count as... Have you no soul? It's been eons since I felt this hopeful. I even managed to make a little portal for your return. Who opened that return portal? Is it... <laughs> this is the thing we really should be using. Alright, we have like two more to go. Secret? We get like no... We're like at over a million now. In terms of currency. Huh? Oh, we got hit by the last one. We're over a million now in currency, so opening those forge. currency boxes is not eye, worth it. I see <laughs> hammers, pistons, and burning lost souls. With my real eyes, I think I see turrets too. Really? They're tricky to reach, but I suspect they're exactly what you need to loosen Theodore's hook in this world. Getting it to start working is not that difficult. It's just getting that first kill that's the hardest part. It's like annoying and awkward to get the first kill. And then after that, you, you just get a ton of. Yeah. It's only good when there are like multiple enemies around. So if the enemies come in like slow waves, then this thing is not ideal. Yeah. This mode 
seems to do considerably more damage. When I'm in this mode with the hollow sight, it seems like I'm doing way more. I have to experiment. Hold on. 215. Yes. We do like three times as much damage when it's in this mode. What? That's crazy. Yeah, it should just always be kept in this mode. Let those birds fly. Yeah, this is insane. I'm not even using my spells. You crawled under all those hammers just for a shot at seeing me? You got a bad. Admit it. Cool area. Ow. Yeah, this thing is insane. It, it's probably the best weapon I've found in the game. As long as we can get that first kill trigger. The homing it does is insane. We already went through there. I think we have to go up and around? No. How the fuck do we get up there? Up here? Yeah, I think up here. Okay, up and around here. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. This fire, this mode versus this mode. This mode just does more damage. Like three times as much damage. So we should just always have it in this mode. It doesn't give you any amigo derchi. Is that like Spanish and Italian in one word? See, but we didn't get the proc there because the dark damage killed, killed them. Yeah, this thing is still, even though it has that downside, it also lasts quite some time. Such nimble shooting or sliding. Have a return portal to celebrate. Powers are growing by the second. That homing is just absurd. <laughs> this may be, I, I think this is still, at first it was underwhelming. Now I understand how powerful this thing is. We should try this thing out, though. We need to enter Fire Deep Forge. Okay, this way. Oh, that would have turned it off. Huh. There's gotta be something else we need to do. 
Ha-ha! Is that it? Oh, it just, okay, it just disappeared. The chains that bind lost souls to stone. The hooks <laughs> that snatch our spirits so from bone. So, the trick to using this thing They're is we want it to break. In the molten heat beneath the mountain. Which means that same heat can be used to destroy them. There must be a control mechanism to direct its flow. Find it. And turn Theodore's hook into a molten memory. Yeah, we is actually want this mountain, thing to break. Or is it just my heart? Oh. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> <laughs> These goblins are just spawning right fucking next to me. Yeah, they resist the fire. Yeah, they resisted the fire damage. This thing hurts a lot. This thing is actually very good. Absolutely no skinny dipping. That thing has so many status effects. Status effects stacked on top of it. Yeah, this weapon is awesome. We need to stand on here. Say goodbye to your body hair. You're leaving this place fully smooth. I hope you have a humid, slick summer. Uh, I don't know what's doing that. Oh, it's those guys. Uh, there's an enemy type that's like running up to us. And they are exploding. They spawn right next to us, and then when they reach us, they explode. Yeah, those, those guys. They have like a frozen explosion. This thing is pretty good. Guard, do your job and keep that intruder off the plate. Yeah, they spawn right next to us, and then they just like run up to us and explode. So it's effectively like having things spawn. Right on top of me and
immortal for you. Aren't I the nicest? You melted my favorite chains. I can't even look at you right now. <laughs> Your favorite chains? I think we're good, right? I think the way we're we're headed in terms of our build makes sense. What is this? It's just like a giant grenade launcher. Can we do self damage with it? Yes, we can. Yeah, it does not have much range. Damn, we're still getting armor patterns. Hero statue material, gold weather. That sounds cool. Yeah, everything's getting capped out at about 400. So I suspect that the cap is 400. Actually, no, this one's 449. We're still incrementing up. I think just everything kind of slowed down quite a bit around 400. Theodore's time imprisoning us is coming to a swift end. Over my dead body! Yes, that's exactly the idea. Oh, this is exciting. The gate's open. I hope you're ready to fight. I could use another 10, 20 minutes. Actually, could you come back tomorrow? <sighs> And fight for all the lost souls who can't. Look at you, slogging your way through fire for a chance to touch greatness. Just like all the other lost souls. You love adore the soul word. Well, as the king around here, it's my duty to serve. Ah, uh, yes, let's on not. On a molten platter! In her Gunsha. Uh, if these are all gonna have, Dude, I'm getting slapped. I need to make up my mind. I need to make up my mind as to what gun to play them with. I don't think those can actually take status effect can they? They can't. Yeah. That does do a lot of raw damage. This thing is still insane. Theodore the Soul Warden. Oh god, I'm getting sucked into the sentry. Uh, the fuck? Where am I? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay, 
Okay, we destroy the soul cells and we fight them and then we get teleported. I'm killing them so fast that the second they show up, we just get teleported back here. Can I do damage to those? Nah. Any final <laughs> okay, so it gets more difficult. There are like more guns and stuff that are like rotating around and firing. Look at the status effects. They're just dying to status effects right now. <laughs> Theodore. He's gone. And so is his hold on all these lost souls. He had such a long run. I never imagined it would end. That was interesting. I like wished it. I like the never see the it. Frogger. I'll take it in my mirrors. I already feel so much freer. You know, odds are good it's not really. Maybe I should blast him again, just to be sure. We may see him again in the future, yes. Being a demon is an eternal calling after all. But next time, it'll be on our terms. Thank you, hero. You've helped me in more ways than you can ever, ever know. Come, I owe you a reward. Yeah, we did all four of them at this point. We got, we got a decent amount. Still, the, the dragon one, the fourth one, we got the most uh, souls from. We got like 200. But yeah, this thing is crazy. It's flat out damage and then it fires, every time we reload, it fires wyverns at the enemy. There's a legendary. Legendary melee, which we don't need. Salt and battery. Interesting. Echo. Melee attacks deal 10% of all non-melee damage dealt by the Fate Maker over the last 10 seconds as bonus damage. Huh. 
that's kind of interesting. I still like the one we're using though. Like this, we never melee, but that's that's still just like an insane melee weapon. We never melee because I'm always busy doing other things. Wait, is this a shotgun? This is a shotgun. Is this a explosive shotgun? It is. That does what? 600, 248? Like 840 per shot. Doesn't seem bad. Yeah, this doesn't reload compared to this thing. Two shots to break. Like that's that's what we want. Yeah. Ooh, 400 item score spell. Yeah, that's just the AoE. That's the first, that's the highest item score spell that I've found at 400. Hydra companions. These are always cool. Yeah. But again, they cast around my character and that is not not great not ideal i really like uh weird 42 percent gun handling that's interesting ward capacity minus health See, the thing is, if we're stealing health, well, we're not right now. There's certain enemy types that just do, that just delete our ward. So I don't know if I want to lean into that. There is this skill. Uh, this skill, restore the veil. Which basically puts all of our ward and health into ward. Or, or takes from our health and, and puts it in ward. Uh, that doesn't seem like an ideal thing. Now, I don't even think we're going to have enough points. Because we're already... It, that's 11 more points in tree to unlock. We're at level 37 and I'm pretty sure we cap out at level 40. At level 40, I'm probably going to respec and rework this. But we're good on damage and, and all that. Yeah, this just does raw damage. I would love something like this if if it had a status effect. Wait. Is spell radius ice spike? Wait, is that gonna actually create a giant ice spike? Oh, 
What's better than casting one ice fight? Casting a whole bunch and having three spell charges to do it. The downside to the rain bolt, the rain bolt is insane. The status effects that this procs are insane. I think we have to keep it, especially because it has homing. It has homing, and that adds serious value to its capability. Sticky? What is sticky? <gasps> Okay, so it sticks to enemies. I don't think it homes onto enemies, though. There's something very valuable about being able to cast something and making it, making it almost guaranteed that it hits. Because you can have the coolest, highest damage spells, and if you miss, it does zero damage. Which tanks the DPS. Oh, if this had... If this had spell shot power instead of stabomancer power, I would immediately take this. Because the poison damage on this Oh, that's so It's so close. Maybe I do just take it. Status effect chance? But then we would lose out on the spell shot power. I think we take it. The poison damage and status effect chance outweighs that, I think. I'm not going to start it, though. We definitely need something better than that. Light, you see, we're not using lightning damage at all. So, the gun reload speed is pretty good. But that's getting, it's just getting outclassed. I think we, I think we should do a chaos run. And after, when we complete the chaos run, we should try and get a amulet necklace. A new, a new necklace. Yeah, this is starting to get pretty weak. The thing is, uh, the level cap is level 40, right? Like, if we're just being flat out honest. In uh three levels i'm gonna be max level so i really shouldn't be concerning myself too much with loot at this point yeah this thing actually isn't that good yeah, I'm just gonna drop it. Why couldn't even. it be a, a money burn or a free massage burn? Put this in here. Yeah, it it's pretty janky that 
this gives duplicates. Yeah, I think the one we're the one we're using is very good. It's pretty janky that this gives Oh, banner color. Okay. That wasn't duplicated. That's a that's a bug in the game and the fact that that persists in the game after this much time is a little bit it, it definitely degrades the quality of the game because um Yeah, when we die, we lose 45,000 gold at this point. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't worry about our, our level. But yeah, that bug in the game does definitely... It's definitely a, a, a little bit of a tick off like 10 out of 10. Like a couple perform, I, I'd say this game is a nine out of ten, just because it, it's a nine out of ten because one star, one star taken off for the fact that we've had some performance issues, we've had issues like duplicates in the lost loot, uh, some of the boss fights have been a little bit weak, but ultimately. It's a nine out of 10. Like I've absolutely gotten my money's worth. It's $20 on Steam right now. It's absolutely worth it. I just realized that looks like a, a mouth, an open mouth with two buck teeth right there. Two eyes and an open mouth. Yeah, let's do a chaos. Let's do a chaos run. Uh, in the meantime, I will we'll, we'll do a chaos run, but I will be right back before I start.
All right, I'm back. Yeah, our inventory is clear. Um, yeah, this we picked up again and forgot to sell it. When you pick something up and you have an open weapon slot, it just goes immediately to your weapon slot, which I kind of wish it didn't. I wish things only were equipped if you deliberately equipped them. Yeah, here's another vamp. The taser definitely seems interesting. This one has zip rockets. This actually might not be bad. For a hundred, it's worth giving a try, right? It's got a huge drop. And then why is the second reload fast? The first, the, no, 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 the first reload is quick and then the second one is longer. Ah, because there's a double mag, that's why. That's not terrible. Wait, what? What is it doing? Oh, are those the zip rockets? Yeah. So you can actually see the zip rock, the zip rocket mag start to reload. Dude, that's so weird. I kind of, I kind of don't mind it though. And then there are three shots every time, so it hurts 390 if you hit with it, hit with all three. It's kind of interesting. I'll try it. That we already checked. With a little plate, you this is just like a raw. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. It's it's better. All right, we're good. Choose, fate maker. Uh, did we already we already did the featured run? We did a, a we did a normal run. Chaos trial. I think we do that. I think we do a chaos run after we reach level 40. I think we got to reach level 40. Oh, look at those status effects. Beautiful, beautiful status effect. What? What was that noise? What? What is that? Oh, we, we fought those before. They create the cloud and they die. <laughs> this thing is kind of sick, honestly. When it crocs, it actually does an insane amount of damage. The only thing is it's got an insane bullet drop. But I like it. And if we really want to break out the power, we can use the, the rockets. 
Actually, it doesn't seem to do that much more damage. Oh, they're resistant to my... Picking up the gems is pretty fun. Yeah, if we miss those, they, they show up in the lost loot anyway, so... Decent? Let's see how you handle it! Just always go hard mode. I like this. This is like very addictive, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I found one of these before. Find the skull. Oh, it just it gives you uh, gems. Thick. So those that that yellow skull gave us gems. Iclops are spawning, just Iclops. He died immediately. We missed the side. He fires right alive by feeding him up. Yeah, I still don't know how to do that. is insane. The fire damage proc is just so massive. And I'm getting I'm getting used to the um, the bullet drop. Oh sick. 75% chance to reflect bullets and arrows. Yes, that is what that is something we were looking for for sure. What does this do? This is an Arcan spell. We do like Arcan spells. Okay, so it's a it's the classic Yeah, the thing with the rain bolt is it doesn't derive its damage from the damage. It derives its damage from the status effect. And if you look, the status effect damage on the 404 item score Arcan spell is much lower. And... The rain bolt, the small text, if you read the fine print, on hit applies a random status effect, meaning it is guaranteed to apply a status effect. 100% chance. So that's going to be very difficult to pop. Oh, loot luck and poison damage. I think we just immediately go loot luck. I, I just... 
loot luck is so powerful. And poison, I, it's poison damage, right? Yeah, poison damage. It's Clawbringer power, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Uh, rain, um, Lady Butt Stallion gives you a, bless, a blessing, and then Dragon Lord gives you a harder difficulty. I, I was about to say Lady Rainicorn, which is from Adventure Time. I was, I was about to say Rainicorn. Oh, there must be a skull around here. Please stop doing that. Uh, immune? If you break those crystals. Oh. <laughs> evil eye crabs are a nightmare. Because they just jump on you. There's nothing you can do. I hear the skull. Here it is. I got it. It's resisting the... This is also fire damage. How did that not proc? I was standing in the lightning. That does an insane amount of damage. There are like two things that do insane amounts of damage in this game. The floor effect, uh, AOE damage. And explosive of any type. I was trying to explore the map a little bit more, but I felt like I just kept getting bogged down. It's fine. We got that skull, which gave us more gems, which is kind of cool.
Uh, should we go hard mode? Of course we should. Wait, what? There was a legendary, like, right in front of my face, and I didn't see it. Wizard's Pipe of Vast Deaths. Damage to projected front-facing ward returns bullets to your magazine. Interesting. The only problem is it, like, never has to reload. We are going to star this, though. This thing is kind of crazy. I'll try it. This should be interesting. Yes, it should. Uh, I don't want this as our main weapon. I want... I'd like this to be our main, that to be our third, that to be our fourth, yeah. This thing just slings damage. Outdamned DOT. Ha! You fell for it. Classic Status hero bait. Status effect damage against enemies is reduced by eighty percent. That is going to be very rough. given the fact that our entire build is built around status effects. Yeah, see, I don't know. We keep fire spread alive by feeding it moats. We need moats to feed. What? thing does like a decent amount of raw damage. Oh my, that's lava. Uh, they are completely immune to frost damage. That's a waste of time.
That's a burning clump. Dark damage is the only thing we have to do against these things. I'm like, what else can we use? Uh, dark damage. And then everything dies. This is like my oh shit weapon. Yeah, this does fire. This does fire. This does frost. They were completely immune to cold damage. Yeah. This thing is getting outclassed at this point. Picking up the gems is like picking up candy. It feels very good. Just like picking up the souls. Electric pistol. Ooh, small mag size? Let's check it out. Pretty clean. Nah. This thing is better. What is that? Icon? Uh, are they just going to be immune to fire damage? They're immune to fire damage. I mean, it's not a proc. I keep saying proc, which technically means programmed random occurrence. This just activates on kill. Trigger trigger on kill. So it's, it's better to say trigger. Um, proc is when some of our status effects happen because it's a randomized chance. There's the thing. There's a skull around here. What is that?
Were we meant to dodge it or what? That almost killed me. That did kill me. Uh, I have no idea. Are we meant to shoot it or what? I suspect we're meant to shoot it. What? That time it just disappeared. Yeah, I have no idea. Look at how many health items there are on the ground. damage spell shot power this may be something we're looking for yeah we could use this the spell shot power that we're missing out on is enough to make that worth ominous pupils Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I think to survive this, we're just gonna have to get... We're gonna have to get this to proc, and then we'll be okay. Oh, Zamba! Oh, they are immune to that. They are immune to dark damage. Fuck, man. I just immediately got taken out. If I was a little bit to the left behind the pillar there, projectile wouldn't have hit me. Yeah, I think we lose out on gems every time we die. And we have to fight them from the start. Oh, okay, they were immune? Okay. Those explode on death? Those projectiles that they throw. Yeah, that projectile. Yeah, they just died. They got melted once the uh once the status effects started proccing, they just got melted. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. They throw a projectile that's very difficult to dodge. And it does an insane amount of damage. <laughs> nice. I think we're... I think we're good here. Even with those effects of uh, elemental status effects doing 80% less damage, we were still doing an insane amount of damage.
Yeah, that's fantastic. I love that gameplay loop. It's it's like a roguelike, kind of. Oh, that would be so insane if... Yeah, see, Graveborn Spell Shot would just be an awesome combo. Because he becomes so tanky. I think electric damage would have been helpful there. Because this thing already does fire. This does fire as well. I think having something that does electric is going to be very valuable. But we're going to hold on to this one because I like it a lot. Everything else can just be sold. Alright, nice. Berserker and Spore Warden. Alright, are we gonna go for... Now, we already have... As far as, like, pistols go... We're good. Oh, this counts as a assault rifle. Nice. This is an assault rifle. Yeah. Versus pistol. Because everything we were using before were just pistols. Um, I think what I was saying before is we were looking for a necklace. But because we found this, I don't think we necessarily need a necklace anymore. I think what we need is a better armor. Yeah, this is amazing. Our ward is fine. Our spells are fine. Yeah, this would be amazing for a... For a Berserker Spore Warden. I'm gonna hold on to that. Yeah, I think we go for shield. For armor, I mean. Yeah. We need something better than this. <laughs> Hopefully we get something decent. Spellshot Graveborn. What is that? This crit chance we don't really care about. And Graveborn, it also gives, it reduces spell cooldown rate as well. Ugh, melee crit damage. Yeah, but all damage dealt. Increased fire damage. Oh. Soaked enemies. Wait, this is this is actually insane. Hold on. Uh the clawbringer, we're not clawbringer, but this gives stack to reduce spell cooldown rate, which we like. All damage dealt, maximum health, area damage. But this gives spell weaving stacks. And then what is this? Fire rate. It gives spell weaving and fire rate. This is insane. I, I think we need to take this one. It's so close between these two. 
but the spell weaving stacks. Yeah, but the the maximum health. But then that gives maximum ward capacity, though. And with maximum ward capacity, we have this, which scales off of our ward. The fuller their ward, the greater the bonus. Wait, what is that? The magnifying glass? Their gun deals bonus damage of that spells. Oh, this is actually very interesting. Wait, aren't we? We're blade collar. Yeah, this thing is insane. Except for the compa companion critical chance. This gives us spell shot power and blight collar power. It also gives us a, a huge increase. Oh, this is tough. I think we take it. The problem is ability damage. I don't really care for soaked just yet. I don't have any... Like, I'm not specifically doing lightning and frost damage. Also, yeah, they take less damage from fire. I think this is insane. Spell shot, blight collar. Uh, this is also insane, but it's frost damage, which is okay. Yeah, we, we don't mind that, but the all damage dealt is what we like. Yeah, I'm glad I'm looking through these. Some of these are, even though they're not legendary. Yeah, see, we don't. The difference between rare and epic is that um, when it comes to the armor, this gives you two things. See, spell shot, stabomancer. This is just spell shot. Oh, that is insane. This is actually kind of good. Because this ability... Yeah, but again, the spell cooldown rate, we just can't beat that. I really think... This this is very very good. Yeah. Because the, just because of the spell cooldown rate. The the amount of DPS buff we get from the increased spell cooldown rate outweighs that other stuff. Yeah, we're we're good. Damn, we got some really good loot from that from that run. <laughs> And we are currently level 38. We're almost level 40. With a little plate, you won't be late. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to these, honestly, because I just some of them are okay. Uh but as for these legendaries, they get stored in here. 
What about this there? I don't know if I like the... Uh, no, the full auto is okay. See, I just don't like having to spam mouse button. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, we have this one, which is sick. Rainstone, Blue Steel, Aberrant, Plum Heart. I kind of like Plum Heart. And then we got New Eyes. Line of Sight, Dark Vision, Negative Space. That looks like a goat, a goat eye. That's sick. I do like this one though. We're gonna use negative space. It just goes well with void sight. Weird, that says eye color blue, but it's like greenish. I think it, is it because we have like the weird evil eyes or something? Reptilian eyes. I like the focused eyes. We got a new armor pattern. It's kind of difficult to see. Is our armor getting, like, cooler as we're leveling up? I think that's what's happening. As we level up, our armor changes. I, I, that's what I'm just gonna go with. Garter robe, gold chrome. I still really like the oil. Royal oil. Yeah, that's like so bright. I kind of want something that isn't so bright. That kind of looks sick. Noble Finery. I think we just unlocked this one. Viceroy Violet Leather. Oh, that kind of looks sick. I like that. Wonderstone is the secondary color. Nice. Um... I wanted to change our character's eyeshadow, because that's just like, it looks too crazy. That's That seems all right. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, our, our armor has been changing. Um, oh, we also got... I think we got emo, right? Ye old shimmy. That's kind of jank, but we'll take it. <laughs> cool. I do like this swallow tail. 
But that one kind of looks cool too. Sunset Rose. Ooh, the Faded Stripes look sick. Tooth and Claw. Kind of still like their chevrons. Or the Winnie. <laughs> Let's change our icon. This one kind of gets hidden underneath the banner because it's shorter. I think I still like this one. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, and then the statue, right? We got this, which looks, I mean, very, very similar. We'll go with the diamond. All right, sweet. Um, so are we gonna do, I, I'll do another, how long have I been streaming? Four hours? I can do another chaos run or we can re, uh, do another, um, do a repeat of one of the other things. I think it's time to do a side quest. Before we get too wrapped up in like this super end game. The super end game loop. I think we, we do that. Uh, <laughs> that can be put in there. Yeah, because we have this thing. This thing for fire damage, which is very good. This thing for frost, lightning, and then dark damage. Let's go and do Goblins Tired of Forced Depression. Now, to get there, we can fast travel. Yeah, I need to remember at any point we can just fast travel to the overworld. Um, yeah. I think we were trying to do this yesterday, but we like got a bit sidetracked. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. Yeah, we got sidetracked. We were like doing that stuff over there. Yeah. Mount Craw. Have we even been here before? I don't think we've been here before. I do hope they don't start the revolution without me. Yeah, I don't think we've been here before. Yeah, we're good on shop stuff, right? Put some bloody armor on you, Yeah. Oh, there, 
adventurer? Have you come to join our righteous cause? We are the goblins tired of forced oppression. Freedom fighters, one and all! Though I am glad you showed up, because I'm pretty sure I couldn't fight my way out of a wet paper bag. If this is a All of the reskinned goblins. Oh, there'll be coin in it for you. But first, we must shatter the chains of oppression, fight for glorious goblin freedom, and rebuke the tyranny of Dragon God Volcanar. Sorry, did you just say Dragon God? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm almost nearly mostly totally sure he's a false god. Now, come along! It's time to free my goblin brothers and sisters! The brave few who clamor Side quest. He is a cool <laughs> master, demanding tribute from our enslaved people once a week. If he is displeased by the offering, his punishment is harsh. We must put a stop to it once and for all! Probably gonna be best to ADS at this time. Doesn't seem to be proccing that well. Oh, Hold up. Nose yeah. ring? It's a badge of honor representing full members of the GTFO. The yeah, now, now that we got it rolling, we're good. But we'll yeah. show them. Now, the yeah. now, now it's above. doing the damage we need. Once we get our... Once we get our other status effects rolling, we get an insane buff to damage. Barrier. Well, I guess the goblins are screwed. Oh well, we tried. Come on, Valentine, <laughs> we can figure this out. It's a puzzle of some kind. Bingo, dingo, Fredalicious. But we've already shot at it and hit it with heavy objects. I mean, that's all I've got. Do we detect any magic? And lo, the mysteries of the seemingly impenetrable barrier are revealed to you. <laughs> what you gonna do? Follow the ley line, obviously. I'll uh, stay here and keep an eye on the barrier. Sure, sure. You are um, keep an eye out. Right? Oh, and don't worry about killing any goblins that are working for Varkenar. They're traitors to goblin kind. They deserve exactly what they get. You see before you. Maybe yeah, ADSing maybe. is the way to go, because otherwise it gets too inaccurate. That looks promising. Yeah, that isn't actually as... Ow? Yeah, all of the enemies scale, so even though this is like a technically an earlier quest. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> even though this is technically an earlier quest, uh, the enemies scale. Not to be a jerk enough, him, but I never seen goblins build something as complex as that thing. Well, that's just hurtful. <laughs> Even if true. But yes, they must be the work of the foul troll oracles that serve foul Varkinar with their foul magics and create their foul machines. Huh. You need a thesaurus, mate. 
Just saying. Before you stands yet another <laughs> magical... Need the source. Yeah. thing is absurd to do. Like, I honestly think trying to use that is just a waste of time. It seems good on paper, but doesn't feel good in practice. Damn it! Get out! Yeah, this counts as an assault rifle. For the next phase of Operation Green Dream, I stashed some GTFO posters and a flag nearby when I was chased out of the mountain. Go get them! Once you've got the posters, I need you to venture into the mountain and put them up all Destroy over the place. Rock? The goblins should rally to our cause. As the spirits haven't been broken by the taskmasters. Propaganda posters. As for me, I've got a little side operation <laughs> I need to attend to. I'll meet up with you later. Work more better. <laughs> Get up here? How do I get on top of there? I hate Shadang! I think it would be right here. I think we have to go all the way around. Damn it! Get out of the way, Gaba! With this. Yeah, we almost said. Oi, let me give you something. What? What is 
The imps are immune to fire damage, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, but then, uh, look, I have some GTFO oh, training, but that, I've never been in a real fight before. But you believe in something worth fighting for. Sometimes that's all it takes. Okay, if you say so. This is but electric right now, and... It's time to claim the caverns for the glorious resistance. Raise the GTFO flag! Electric and ice. The GTFO flag. <laughs> Don't screw it up. <laughs> Hear me, my goblin <laughs> Ready for the next phase of our operation? I did some recon earlier and spotted a bunch of political prisoners in the Lakeside Village. We gotta free them! <laughs> the Goblin Uprising. So, the, are the trolls keeping the goblins enslaved? That's what it that's what they said earlier, right? Yeah, the troll jailers. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. That's the down that's the downside of uh The downside of homing is that sometimes it homes onto the thing. They just slam into the ground when there isn't an enemy. Hey! I thought we were all hungry. Oh, this is quite a big. Strange choice for a prison, though. Oh, it's the worst, isn't it? Natural beauty, sunshine, fresh air. It makes me sick to be subject goblins to such horrible conditions. <laughs> This gun is awesome. All three, all three of these serve like a seriously solid purpose. Eruption spell. We could keep this equipped. Hey, it just doesn't. Oh, there's a marble. You're close to a marble. <laughs> Break it open now. Um, please. Ah. Eldon's parents were legendary <laughs> heroes, wyvern tamers, giant slayers, favorites of the queen. He wants so much to be special like them, like me. When I said he already was, he scoffed. He wants so much to be extra, that I'd be so happy with ordinary. That's great that they take status effect damage while they're underground. Gotta make myself dead. <laughs> you did it! And the prisoners are finally safe back in their dank pits. Oh, how I miss my dank pit. But there's <laughs> still more than he done. <laughs> Oh, that's a important symbol. Ready for the next phase of our operation? The Slayer of Vorkanar. 
So this is an ongoing revolution. Next, we have to seize the means of production, then destroy <laughs> them. That'll show Varknar we mean business. Come, come, this way. I thought I heard a lucky dice around here. Just the de-escalation without violence expert I've been searching for. Come here, sweetie. Um. Yeah, let's not. Let's just focus on this. Here we are. Now, the means of production are also the engines of oppression. So go bust them up! Ooh, what is this? I'm gonna go secure our route by dropping the bridge. We'll meet up there. Turns into a pixie companion. Oh, what? Interesting. It also does fire damage, though. This is a. I like that spell a lot, but again, the the rain bolt is going to be extremely difficult to top. Yeah. That pixie is doing a lot of damage. Oh, insert me the fire. Those pixies are a thing. Those pixies are actually insane. <laughs> Interesting. Disable first machine. We're gonna have to fight this Vorkinar thing at the end of this, aren't we? Yep, probably. You afraid of fighting <laughs> a dragon, Valentine? What? No. It's just a stupid game, anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stupid game? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to go ahead and take that back, Valley. Right now. Okay, okay, take it back, all right? It's the best game ever, of all time. Uh, now you gotta do it again. It's a very enjoyable game. Hey, there you go. Wait, did we not go out? See, there is something. I need to respec. Yeah, that can't happen. Like, we need to keep reloading. Pixies are actually, actually insane. I haven't used any of my spells because I'm just casting pixies by reloading. Boom! I heard that thing break from here! 
<laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at look at them. They just demolished that thing. I think if I do another build, if I do another playthrough, I'm definitely gonna do summoner. Turning my ammo into something. That's basically what I'm doing. And luckily, pistol ammo is plentiful. They're insane. And they last a decent amount of time, too. Welcome. Now come meet me. I've almost got the want to see. Yeah, we don't we don't need that. It doesn't do anything cool. Bridge down. Yeah, these are actually insane. What was that? I can't believe you really did it! That ought to stick a potato and bark in our tailpipe! Hey, so you know real dragons don't have tailpipes, right? They don't? Huh? Well, further proof that Valkanar is a false god, huh? Just a little bit more tweaking, and there! Six. Now we have to split up again. I need you to track down some demolition <laughs> goblins that work for Valkanar. Steal the plastics they use to open up new mining tunnels. We'll need them for the fight against Barkanar. While you do that, I'm gonna track down the lair of Ice King Prisocles, who dwells under the mountain. We'll need the power of his icy heart to quench the fires of the Great Oven. <laughs> the Great Ow. Oven is where the trolls smelt the ore mined by the enslaved goblins. If you can take it out, we'll disrupt their primary source of revenue and weapon range. Yeah, the um, yeah. there's a lucky dice somewhere here. I think it's up above. Yeah, it's up there. Got it. Trail of Freezer Cleese! Just keep collecting those bombs. Damn those traitors! But we'll <coughs> take those bombs they've got and use them to free the goblins once and for all. Uh, I have to go all the way around. I shouldn't have jumped down there. Yeah, this thing, when I... When I reload it, it consumes all the ammo. Yeah. So, 
Ideally, I would fire all of my rounds before reloading it. But the benefit of using my ammo to cast to spawn firing. Doing this. Oh God, sorry to keep doing this, but I'm in a whale gucking of a pickle again. I spotted three of these, but he's also spotted me, and now he's definitely trying to kill me. Oh, please help! I'll cut you down till you're starting to me. Yeah, he's got the full eye. Oh my. <laughs> This thing is insane. The pixies are, they do an immense amount of fire damage. Unfortunately, I do not have a summoner build, but if I did, this would be just even more insane. Reload speed is good. Fort Freezical. Oh, help! He's right behind me! Oh, thank God you're here! Take this monster down! Freezicals? What? Oh, this thing? Freezical's frozen yeah, heart. I rally some more goblins to our cause. I need to. Now, this just flat out has more ward, but the chance to reflect bullets and arrows. is pretty massive. That's going to be hard to beat. Just that alone. Yeah, this thing is insane. The pixies are insane. Shut down the great oven with the heart of Freezicles. I'll find you when the time Freeza, comes. Freezicles. All right, we need to put Freezer Cleaner's heart in the oven. Greetings, great oven. Forgive me, but I must quench your flames. Uh, 
sick. What was the bell? Champion, the gathering bell rings. You must make haste for the tribute arena and we will prepare for the coming of Orkanar. I'll meet you along the way. Be on your guard for the oracles. I'm nearly there. You're gonna get quick. Why? I saw that shadow, I was like, well, what is that? All right, which way do we have to go now? Uh, we have to go uh, this way. Yeah, I'm glad I checked the map before going much further because I do have a habit of going in a random direction and then just completely going the wrong way. that the pixies just take care of those for me like it's making me want to do a freaking companion build This is still my favorite weapon. The, uh... The Ruby's Spite. The problem is getting a kill. Lucky dice up there. The the torch has actually set us on fire. <laughs> Boss fight time? Deflect and protect. Uh yeah, we don't want that. Soon we're gonna start finding. Soon we're gonna start finding level 40 item. In one more level. Find jar. Jar. I've never killed anything before. I. I hated it. Even though it's for a righteous cause, I just... I can't do that ever again. I'm sorry, but you'll have to fight Varkinar on your own, champion. The tribute arena is just up ahead. Follow me. Sure. Time to kill her whatever Varkinar happens to be. Um, 
What? Oh, this is open now. Okay. Dragon God are neither arena. troll nor goblin. How sick dare arena. you set foot within my realm? I'm gonna kill you so bad. <laughs> you think you could If we kill can't get a this god. to trigger, then we're gonna have to use something else. You're no god, Varkar! Oh shit, we fought this before. I am Jara the GP of Hope, and you're ready to kill in today. Alright, we need this, we need to kill something to get this to spot. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. This is gonna work. That's gonna work really well. Um. You insolent vermin! What have you done? Eh, nothing good. <sighs> they died. You think I've earned that nose ring yet, champion? Oh, hang on a tick. Damaged hog. You did good, kid. Real good. I think you've earned a nose ring. <laughs> and then some. Yeah. What? Really? This would be a truly mighty nose ring, but none of this would have been possible without you. I think you deserve this more than me. Huh. All the goblins watching in the distance. On behalf of goblin kind, I must thank you, champion. We will forever be in your debt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must inform the GTFO leadership of our victory. There is much to do. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really get anything usable. Whenever a poison status effect deals damage over time, there's a 15% chance for the enemy to explode for 504 poison damage. So it's like a poison damage that procs on poison damage. Uh, maybe we'll hold on to that. Yeah, let's hold on to that. Something that procs poison damage on poison damage seems like it could be pretty good. Now, I don't know if it can... Yeah, it has to be a poison status effect. But it's whenever a poison status effect deals damage over time. And as far as most of these go, that's every second. So if you have, like, multiple poison status effects there's a 15% chance 
every second, if not more. So that seems like it could actually be good. Cool area. Um, what am I thinking? It's five, uh, I've been streaming for five hours. Maybe... Hmm. Let's go back to the chaos chamber. Drop these off. <gasps> Claim our lost loot. Oh, did we not get duplicates? It didn't look like those are duplicates. Hold on. Ah, oh, that time we didn't get duplicates. Weird. That's such a that was a weird bug. I can understand. I've done a, a tiny bit of a game development, a tiny bit, and. As far as a bug like that goes, that would be extremely, extremely difficult to solve. Um, oh, Rad, welcome back. Uh, a bug that causes duplicates to drop from lost loot during a specific period, and then it just ended. Now it's not duplicating anymore. We'll see if it duplicates again. But... A bug that's hard to recreate is a very hard bug to solve. Um Yeah, let's do another let's do another chaos. Enter if you dare. <laughs> extended chaos. But seriously, let's go. You should dare. I don't think we've done an extended run before. And I'm just gonna go full hard mode. Every chance I get, I'm going to go hard. Yeah, when we get a kill with this, it just gets considerably better. So the enemy is dropped. So we have to take them and then bring them here. Haha! Interesting. Always hard. This should be interesting. Have a good night, Rad. Thanks for some might. Yeah, always hard mode. I may try to make one of these encounters easy just to see. Oh, that's insane damage. I'm there, not Brock. I've 
those and then bring them here. Damage we do with this thing is just absurd. Um, hard. Hope that works out for you. And I'm gonna make it elite just to see, just to see what happens. We're gonna probably get wrecked. That's what's gonna happen. Why doesn't it have a health bar? They do damage when they're nearby. Enemies to get this to proc. Oh, well, we did it. get more gems from those skulls. Those are kind of cool little Easter eggs. They make a, a like glowing sound. Yeah. No, I think the spell cooldown is just absurd on that. This makes our ward capacity huge, but then takes away from our health. Which, if we're fighting enemies that do huge damage to ward, is not ideal. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's one of these. I'm going to be reloading it just constantly, but it does a lot of damage, though. Yeah, but increased melee damage. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I think I like this more. Having pixie companions. Let's see how you handle it. Um, do we dare make this elite? Let's try it. Let's just try it. We we gotta try and make it as difficult as possible. We gotta at least try, right? I think I'm going to use this thing. Ah. Ah. 
Yeah, but that's the problem. There we go. Yeah, see those, uh, that beam of green? They just instantly do damage to us in that uh, element type. That, I kind of... Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, the fact that that's the difficulty... It's just taking too long for me to get my damage up. Yeah, we shouldn't have made it elite. Those beams of green are just uh, instantly deleting our health. Maybe this? The, the beam of red and then I don't even get a death a death chance so I making it elite doesn't really make it harder it just makes it more annoying because it's like I how do I avoid that damage I can't dodge it Yeah, if they get anywhere close to me, I just start taking... Okay, I can't slide either. I just can't slide. Yeah, I can't slide, I can't do anything, I can't get away from them, and then I just take an insane amount of damage. They have these, like, beams of energy that just constantly tick me. Um, yeah. Wasn't, wasn't worth it. That, making it elite doesn't make it harder. It just makes it more annoying. I lose my mobility. I can't dodge their attacks. They just have a beam of light that damages me over and over again. I, I will admit that, that that's not a fun way to increase the difficulty. Oh, and we're getting duplicates again? Yeah. The best armor in all the realm. This is just going to consume all of our ammo. Yeah, target takes increased melee damage, I don't care. It's fine, we'll try again. Making it making it elite, we try it. And now we know what making it elite does. It makes it just obnoxious. So yeah, we do have a number of lives. I think it's on the right side, the three. We also lost all of our damage. Um, <laughs> I 
fuck, man. We got knocked into that. That cloud is so bad. Alright, we good? We'll continue going for the harder missions. Um, but we're just not gonna make them elite. Fuck, I was standing in the fucking fire. See that? That shit does an absurd amount of damage. It just instantly breaks my shield. Like, there's nothing that does more damage than that ground ground effect. Like that whole area is denied. That ground effect damage is what's doing the most damage to us by far. But yeah, I I will say it like the elite difficulty the fact that the enemies when they just get close to you just start doing like a beam of damage to you it, it isn't really that long like oh there's a crystal over here what it just jumped into the ground okay Oh, there you are. Yeah, it's just nowhere to stand. Look at the whole area. It's just all on fire. Every single enemy drops something when they fucking die. It's like there's nowhere to stand. <laughs> it's just a fact of, of the difficulty increase. Like, the difficulty gets higher, and enemies start dropping stuff on the ground that denies entire areas, and then whenever an enemy gets close to you... Oh, this is a big, this is a big one. I'm honestly... Look at the area. Like I, 
if you were playing a melee character, you would get so bummed. You would get so boned by that. <laughs> a portion of its cooldown is refunded. After scoring a critical hit with this spell, That's insane. Because as far as I can tell, our crit chance is 60%. Our, our base crit chance. We have even more crit chance than that by something. I can't remember what else. Um, uh, there's something else that's giving us crit chance. Oh, and we're level 40. Let's go, let's go crit chance this time. We are gonna, we're gonna respec. Yeah, and then reload speed, yep. Nice. I, Rainbolt is starting to get a little bit weak. Now, once it once once it starts getting rolling, it is huge. But against a bunch of like smaller enemies, it's very weak. And I think that this is gonna take them to take advantage the most of our ability to just cast spells over and over again. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll try it. Allows me to just do it over and over again. But I didn't get crit that time. Nowhere to nowhere to run now. <laughs> Once that if that gets crits, then I can just keep doing it, and it's absolutely insane amounts of damage. If it gets crits. If it doesn't get crits, then I can't do it for a little while, and it doesn't do any damage. So it's like, I first, if I miss, it's really bad. Uh Yeah, see how they die and then they they leave that on the ground? Yeah. is it cancels my my repair but it feels okay 
prepared. Like that. in their death fire. This thing is insane. This this may be my favorite one. Just because it works within the build so well. What is this? Uh That's pretty decent. But yeah, no status effect. Oh, we got a new Ema, excited. Yeah, this this is insane. Because we can just keep hitting with it over and over again. Yeah. This is my go-to for right now. See, we get frozen, we get slowed. Oh, 
he died. We're pretty much at the point where we're starting to farm for legendaries. Pretty much. This is really good. If we can just get it to crit. Yeah, I I'm going to respec after this run. I'm going to take the time to respec. Extra life. Elemental damage. I think that's what we want. Do we try to do a... Nah, let's just keep going, Mega Chest. I don't like the... It's pretty accurate from a distance, too. Which, in those situations, is actually pretty good. We've got to prevent the Butt Stallion statue from being destroyed. Are there any... What is this dude? Ward delay. Okay. That makes your ward recharge faster. Oh, we have more points? Skill points. Yeah, we need to put some stuff into some stuff. Yeah, we don't really care about bog down. See, worst curse can could be very very good. But Warcaster is amazing. Per stack of spell, and it procs with it. It scales with spell weaving. Yeah, we want that. We do want that. That's what I'm talking about. Like, standing in that shit just does so much damage. Again, it's like, I, I don't like the fact that that's what's making the game more difficult. Like, oh, I stood in the wrong place, and now I'm taking an insane amount of elemental damage. Oh, there's a skull around here somewhere. Found it. Get a decent amount of gems from that, like 20. Which isn't a tiny amount. Oh my god. 
Oh no, I stood on the edge of the fucking fire zone. can't get that thing because it's yeah that's again good luck fucking doing that side objective when everything on the map is covered in fire and you can't reach it enemies while standing inside sacred ground. I think that's over here. inside the sacred ground because it's fire is covered in fire. Yeah, I, I will say that does get a little bit like, it's pretty clear how they've increased the difficulty. And it feels okay, but it doesn't feel the greatest. Like I'm starting to feel like I'm hitting that zone where it's like, okay. They're making it, ooh, well, bl Blight Collar. Uh, Gun reload speed. Yeah, but all damage dealt. That that's hard to top. Ha! You fell for it. Classic hero. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a. Uh... This is gonna be a hard one. I think I'm gonna have to use this thing. What gun am I looking for? This time. We just nuked it down. 
We just nuked them down. Um, what's odd to me is this was this was technically an extended run, but we actually got less gems than we did from the normal run. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because we took less curses? I, I think so. Well, whatever. <laughs> Alright, what are we what are we looking for at this point? Yeah, if that was spell shot power instead, I would absolutely take this. Eh, maybe I'll take it anyway. No, fire rate is very good. Fire rate is very good. Yeah, but reload speed is also very good. Yeah, we'll take it. I think everything else is pretty much trash. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of these first. Um... What are we looking for in particular right now? Probably a better, an even better pistol. I feel like our spells are very powerful at this point. Uh... It's either going to be pistol or spells. We could do amulet as well. Yeah, this is very good. And I'm gonna end up respecking as well. Maybe we go with amulets. Amulets or pistols? Right, let's go with amulets. Yeah, it wasn't as much stuff this time. Spore Warden. Oh, uh, loot luck. Yeah, this is basically the same thing except loot luck instead of gun handling. Yeah, and then all the others were trash. Um, whenever you cast a spell, reduce your remaining action skill cooldown. Eh, that's not that great. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Uh, 
Alright, it's time to respec. Yeah, that run was technically an extended run, but it was not as extended as previous runs that we've done. Alright, so... If I recall correctly... Wait, we should be able to respec in there, right? We don't need to go to the tavern. We also have new points available? What points? Oh, myth rank. Okay. Congrats on reaching max level. Myth rank. Spending myth points. There are four paths to invest in. In clockwise order. Earning rank points. So our myth rank is going to increase now. Okay, this looks very confusing up front. Um, it says we can only invest in points clockwise. Okay. Druid gives us this list of stuff. Loot luck... Wisdom, Archmage gives us Int, Fire, Frost, Status Effect, Chance. Blade Master, Strength, Con, Dead Eye, Dex, Move Speed. So it's either going to be Druid. Because Wisdom... Uh, Wisdom gives us status damage, right? But we don't care about companion damage. I do care about loot luck, though. And that's the one reason why I'm still looking at it. Otherwise, I would just go with this one. Let's, uh, let's respec first. Here, reset skills. You may choose to respec all skill tree selections, reset all spent here, or both. Respect both. It'll cost 300,000. Yes. You got armor decoration? Interesting. Wait, did we get a... Huh. Got new... new colors. I kind of like the old, um... I still like this... this color. Uh, yeah, so we just res we just reset our skills. Okay, so skills. This is gonna take me some time. I'll be I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Polymorph is definitely interesting. Um, if the enemy you try to polymorph is immune, you cast a free spell on that enemy and you gain two stacks of spell weaving. We're still going to go ambihextrous. Now, as for keeping our... We were using the Blight Caller before. Because Whisper of Rot is massive. And I'm probably going to keep that. Because the goal of this character is to maximize our status effect damage, right? So we are the spell shot blight caller. We want our critical hit chance to be maxed out. Just hands down. Our spell critical hit chance needs to be maxed out. Um, spell cooldown rate needs to be maxed out. Spell damage 30%. Yes. Whenever we gain a stack of spell weaving, a portion of our ward is restored. Yes. Um, a portion of all increases the Fate Maker receives to spell damage is also applied to their gun damage. Uh, yes. Reload speed and fire rate, I don't think I care about as much as I maybe should. I do care about this a lot. Imbued weapon. Because imbued weapon and magic bullets just go well together. This we need though. We need a high thread count. And I think I'm going to go all imbued weapon. Because that's just going to make our gun hurt more. I don't know if I actually care about this so much. I don't think we're going to put any points into Warcaster. And yes, gun damage per stack of spell weaving, absolutely. Whenever we score crit with a spell, deal bonus gun damage other guns own. Yes, we want all of that. And then... Gun crits have a chance to instantly reset all spell cooldowns. Yes, we want that. So now we want our status effect chance to be maxed out. I don't know if we like Flawless Edge. I don't like the idea of having to swap my current gun to get maximum effect. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, did I? Is that is that done? Wait, hold on. I didn't I didn't mean to click that. Does that mean I have to reset my entire... Oh, no. Game, why? Why doesn't it ask for confirmation? 
It asks for confirmation when you do this. Dude. All right, let's start again. I, I know what I'm going for now. Yeah, spell a crit chance. Uh, spell damage. We're just not taking those, pretty much. Bonus damage, yes. We're not taking any of these three. Reload chance, yeah. There we go, okay. Uh, we accidentally took that. Now, increase damage dealt based on how full their ward is. I feel like that's the best option we have. Kill skill. A portion of the Fate Maker's maximum ward capacity is restored. I feel like we want both of these. I really think we should... Well, the thing is, if we're going for ward, maxing out ward, then... Dark magic only heals our health, right? I don't, I don't think we care about non-status effect poison damage. Gun damage and spell cooldown for fire status. This is all, these all proc based on status effects. Status effect. This is non status effect. See, what we would then ideally do is we would stick to doing poison, lightning, and frost damage. I think I really like Worse Curse. Especially with the ruby spite. We don't have enough to get either of these, but I don't think we care about that. Now, this alone is actually pretty good. But we have to deal non-status effect poison damage. Which soaks enemies. I don't want to have to swap my current gun yet. So we're going to take this. And... I think we're going to take one of this for lightning effect. Fire status effect doesn't work with bog down because it reduces fire damage. And we don't care about melee damage. I care more about move speed. So let's do that. That that's looking pretty good. 
All right, we're maxing out Int and Wisdom. And then I think... I just want that to be zero. Let's do that. All right, good. I think that that makes more sense to me. And yeah, having to spend another 300,000 coins to respec again because we misclicked is not a problem. It doesn't actually cost that much. I want to make my character look brighter though. Like this primary color is actually kind of dark. Oh, that looks crazy. We do need a dark color. Yeah, that, that looks kind of better. Um... I think, I think I want to do one, one more chaos run. Why is this unequipped? Oh, cause it unequipped when we didn't have ambihextrous. I'm just so used to ambihextrous that, yeah. I still think that this does more damage. I, I still think it does more damage. All right, let's get our lost loot. Yeah, we got duplicates again. Yeah, the fact that it doesn't do it all the time is like really bad. Fire pistol? Wait, this is like a pistol shotgun? Oh, it turns into a pixie. Yeah, but that takes forever to unload the... Yeah. Nothing else. Spawns Hydra. I do like this spell. And we do have worse curse. So we do need something that does dark magic damage. Yeah, these are identical.
These are both gun damage. Yeah, we don't have any... Oh, we did at one point. We did have a legendary... Yeah, I think we need... We need to keep Wicked goss uh, Gossip... Also because it does toxic damage. I think it's gonna it's gonna work with this. Fog down. Yeah. Uh yeah, I think we're I think we're good. We need to just get our myth rank now. Um I'm really torn between Druid and Archmage. Poison damage, lightning damage. I don't care at all about companion damage or ability damage. Everything here I care about. Yeah, we're going to go Archmage. Alright, int plus one. Wait, what? Can I skip this? Oh, if we start here, it goes clockwise. So we have to go through all of them anyway. Okay. Now we get a choice. Spell crit or frost damage. Let's go spell crit then. Yeah, constitution... Uh, dexterity increases our crit chance, so yes, we'll take that. Oh, we don't have any more points. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's do another... Come on. Let's just do a have normal run. Enter the chaos, <laughs> die! Normal, normal chaos run uh, to add up everything that we've kind of been working on. such an absurd amount of damage. we keep our gems like i think we actually have to go and pick them up yeah we're at the point where like i don't need to loot pretty much anything it's your funeral i think the dragon lord gives us 
curses, which make it harder, which give us more reward. I like that I can snipe with the same. You no longer enter save your soul before fate. dying. Yeah, that's that's the curse that we took on last time before we started doing the extremely difficult. that all of the enemies are flesh. played that right. I think I'm just gonna stick to this Cool. I like it a lot. We gotta kill the bug buddies. That, yeah, that's a burning one. We're resisting the fire damage. Again, when it comes to like big armored bosses, I can just melt them. The thing I struggle against are fast moving small Zerg Zerg Rush enemies. Yeah, 
we're good over there. Uh, we'll take the elemental damage. that I can snipe with this thing. shit spawn right next to me. It, it feels like it's very unfair. How much the evil eye crabs are designed to be OP. They can move faster than you, and they do a constant damage effect when they're close to you. So you you just can't do anything against them. Yeah, they jump like that, and I can I can nuke them down. <laughs> If I can get shots off from a distance. But it like it just turned invisible there. And then started doing dark damage? Like what? It just it kind of feels like not not fair. And I get it. I have a whole bunch of curses, and I'm playing on like hard, dip, uh, hard mode, and, uh, chaos mode. But even during the campaign, when I first came across one of those enemies, I was like, "This is ridiculous. Like, I can't. I have no time to react." That's why the uh, like garlic breath would probably be perfect. And honestly, I should be using that spell. I should just go full poison, poison build. But it's okay. I mean, I'm playing on hard difficulty, so it's fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
probably explosive damage is really good. Because shields don't... Oh, this map. Can I go around this way? Yeah. Yeah, I really feel like picking those up <laughs> might be a decent idea. There's a skull here. Yeah, we got about 50 gems from that. I think we have enough curses right now. I also only have one more life. is actually really really bad uh rogue light is probably one of the worst curses if we go down we just immediately die having no death save is actually one of the worst curses love how the enemies stop showing up for a little while. This is very insane damage, though. Yeah, we, we really should just stick to using this thing. It's definitely harder to use, but once I get it rolling, it's it's insane. It's the highest DPS thing that we have. And considering the fact that we have this skill, we need to be applying dark magic status effect all the time. Yeah. Alright, last, I think this is the last one. This is gonna be a, a hardcore one. Oh shit, it's gonna be empty. Hold on. If I can't. Either buff buddies count as a kill? No, they don't. There we go. Forward. 
They surprisingly didn't have that much health. We also got over 2,000 gems, which is the most gems that we've ever gotten in a run. So I do believe I am correct in assuming that the more curses we take on, the more gems we get. Yeah. Nice. Um, now comes the question, what are we, what are we looking for? This thing is still number one. Out, it's still number one. These two are really good for fire and then dark damage. We have like re two really good weapons. This thing is meh. It's okay. It's like more of like a defensive weapon. And this, this was actually doing quite a good amount of damage. Um, we have pistol, we have rifle, SMG, pistol, uh, grenade launcher, sniper rifle, or we get more spells. I really think we need a legendary dark, dark magic spell. This is really good. I think, I think this is okay for now. This spell is like kind of too difficult to use. Not really. I mean, the thing is, if we take... Bog Totem instead of Ambihextrous, and then we only use this spell... I don't know. Thirty-five hundred. This thing hurts a lot. That's basically like a yeah. This homes onto enemies as well. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. But we still. Cooldown is 7.6, 13.7. The thing is, if it homes onto enemies, that means that I'm much less likely to miss. Uh, I need to make up my mind. I think I'm going to go with... Oh, we also have this frost damage, so that's going to buff that. I really like that plus four to spell cooldown rate. I'm going to go with armor. We need a legendary armor. <laughs> Not what we need. Spell shot power. Nope. 
What is that one? Spell crit, crit chance. And then this gives fire rate cooldown. Wait, is this actually good? Wait, hold on. Oh, this is actually... Wait, area damage ability... Yeah, companion critical chance is meh. But it gives us plus two... to this. Which further increases spell damage. Oh, massive. Yeah, these blues are... Hold on, I want to check this again quickly. Base, it has max sax 3, spell damage 9, ability damage 9. And then it gets max sax 3, spell damage 15, ability damage 15. Okay. That's, that's fine. I think this is better. Yeah, this is going to be better. And then it gives two and one to this. Yeah, this is going to be better. For sure. I guess I'll hold on to this. Fire shotgun... I think everything else is okay. The only problem is we're torn between... I mean, we can do dark damage with this thing, right? Dark magic status with this thing. We don't need to use... Until we find a better spell... Until we find a better dark magic spell, we're going to continue to use this thing. Yeah. We're going to use the frost damage. But yeah, the ruby's spite is just too good. Uh, yeah, this we don't need anymore. Yeah, we don't actually want to hold on to that. It's actually not that good. Yeah, we need to sell these as well. Light skin tight. Nights, the right side. Yeah, we're definitely like entering the end game now with the myth rank. Which reminds me, we now have more myth points. Companion damage, we do not care about. Oh, but to get to loot luck. What does wisdom do again? Wisdom. Status damage. So wisdom is actually not bad. But should we start heading towards loot luck, though? And what does attunement do? Skill cooldown. I think we start heading towards loot luck with that. Frost damage, spell crit, crit chance. Uh, we want to get to... We want to get to... Spell damage. So... 
I'm going to go frost damage because that's going to lead us to status effect chance and then spell damage. And then we can get dark magic damage here with blade master. Sick. Uh, good. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I think, you know, we've just entered the end game. We, we are level 40. I feel like at this point we've experienced a majority of the content in this game. So, uh, you know, I, I may very well come back to it. There are other games that I do want to get to. I'm thinking Satisfactory um, primarily, but we'll see. Uh, if you've been enjoying my videos, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll be on in the future.